Hello, my name is Taylor Sanders and I'm a local Kansas City artist. I've been painting for about four years and I taught myself. Um, the best advice I would give is just to keep practicing. The more and more you paint, the better you'll get. And also just have fun with it and that way creativity will just flow. Um, this video today is geared towards students in grades three through five and we will be creating a treehouse painting together. The materials that you'll need are acrylic paint, paint brushes, a palette, a mason jar or cup for your water, and rags or paper towels. And you can get all these materials at a local craft store such as Michael's or Hobby Lobby, or also some of the materials you can find at Walmart or a dollar store. So to get started, we'll use um, a one inch brush and we'll do light blue for our sky background. So I'm just gonna get a lot of paint. And we're gonna paint the majority of the canvas light blue. If you don't have light blue, you can use blue and white. And you can dip your brush in water to just spread the paint around a little bit more. You can leave about that much space at the bottom because we're going to go in later and use green as the grass. If you go different directions, it kind of fills in those white areas on the canvas. And we have a short amount of time, so we're just going to create something fun and quick and colorful. And you can always add to it when you're done. And then using the same size brush, about the same size, we'll go in and make the grass. And I'm gonna use dark green.
go in different directions to fill in the white spots. And then we'll get started on the treehouse. I'm going to outline the treehouse in brown. And it's pretty important to pick out the size that you want this to be so we can fit our tree and everything on the canvas. So I will go right about here and draw a horizontal line. And then still using brown, we're just going to outline the whole tree house. So this will be the left side. This will be the right side. Then we're going to do kind of an upside down V to make our roof. And a little square to be our window. Next, we're going to draw in where our ladder will be because you need a way to get up to your treehouse. And it'll hang off of this side. So you're just going to do a vertical line. That goes just about like that. It's kind of a rope type of ladder. Go back over it to make it a little darker. Then we're going to take our time and figure out where our tree is going to be because we need some way to support our tree house. So right around here, we're going to do part of our tree. Doesn't have to be perfect because trees aren't perfectly straight all the time. Just like that. 
I want it to be a little bit thicker. that part then I want a tree branch to come kind of like this then we're gonna work on our second tree and that's gonna come down We'll have an area that starts about here. And it'll go to the ground. And then we'll give it a more tree-like shape. So I'll kind of make it come out like this towards the bottom. Kind of do the same thing on the other side. So it's a little wider towards the bottom. And then this one is going to have a branch kind of come this way. And a branch come this way that. and it's gonna come right about here and then it's gonna kind of take on like the shape of a Y. So kind of go this way. And then keep this one going this way. Then these branches are gonna go out this way. So, I'm gonna this way and branch out this way and this way. to look like trees so then I want to branch I want to extend my bottom of my tree else out just a little bit same on this side It's going to kind of go this way and up towards this way. Then we can start coloring in our 
<clears throat> excuse me, we can start coloring in our treehouse. I'm gonna use yellow. I was trying to wait a while for this to dry because if we put yellow on top of wet blue, it'll create a green color. So now that it's a little dry, we'll fill this in with yellow or whatever color you want your house to be. Yellow is my favorite color. And we might have to come back in later and do another layer so that yellow pops out. Be careful because your brown paint is still wet. So if you touch it, it'll start mixing the colors. So try to paint around the wet brown paint. And then we'll come back when it's more dry. The thicker you put the paint on there, the longer it will take to dry. Just color it in as best as you can without mixing the colors too much. Mine is mixed a little bit, but it's okay. We'll go back over it. I'm gonna color my window in white. So maybe there's some white walls inside of my tree house. I'm trying not to touch the wet paint, but I am a little bit. So let's let that part dry and move on to the leaves on our tree. For this part, I like to use a pretty big brush and I'm gonna go in first with green, same color we use for the grass. And I noticed I want to add one more tree branch. It's going to mix with our yellow, but it's okay. We'll go back over it. This tree branch is going to come across like this and meet this area down there. It's mixing with the yellow, but we'll go back over it. 
We just want to see where it's going to be. And then another part is going to come up like this. We'll come back in and make that area darker. But now that we have all the tree branches that we're going to have on our painting, let's add in the leaves. I'm using dark green, kind of a lot of paint, and I'm going to do some circular type of motions like this. Our tree is going to kind of come off the canvas. Do the same over here. Fill in this. I want all the area above the roof to be green. I think I want to add a branch in this open area. Let's let that dry a little bit. Now that we've actually, let me add to it a little bit. We'll let that dry a little bit. And let's go on to our ladder. So I want the ladder to have like a rope, kind of like ropey type. Um, stairs to it so I'm gonna use lighter brown if you don't have light brown you can use brown and white and I'm just gonna kind of do little lines like this all the way down And I think I need one more. Then I'm gonna do little circles, almost like there's a knot tying our little ropes.
using that same light brown color, we're gonna create, there's many ways to get up to our tree house. We're gonna create some little steps on this tree trunk. And they're just gonna be little lines like this. And mine are gonna be kind of crooked. And we're also gonna have a tire swing. So to draw my tire swing, first I'm gonna pick where I want it. I want it to hang off of this tree branch. So it's gonna be down here. So the first thing I wanna do is just draw a circle, a black circle. And then I can kind of fill it in to the shape that I want it to be. Basically looks like a donut. Then when you're happy with the shape of that, tire swings don't just float in the air. So we have to draw the ropes or paint the ropes that are gonna hold it onto the tree. So I'm gonna do that using that same light brown color. First, I'm gonna pick where it's gonna hang from the tree. So I wanna go up kinda of straight from the tree and I'm gonna do a circle like here and another circle close to it, here. And I need to, con to connect this tire to this tree. So I'm going to draw some lines on the side of it like this. And then I'm going to connect this line to that. and do the same thing on the other side. So now our tire is not floating. Next, I wanna add some sun. So in this little area, I'm gonna add a sun. 
It doesn't have to be the whole circle, but I'm gonna draw a part of my circle like this. And then fill it in. Then I'm going to take a larger brush and go back into our tree and just add some yellow and mix it with some green to make this yellow green color. And then I'm just going to add it with the same circles on top of the green. Then, with a brush about this size, I'm gonna go in and with that yellow green color that we mixed, I'm gonna do like little X's. And it's just gonna give our grass some texture. Some of my X's are gonna come up, so it's like grass sticking up. Cause grass does that. And then you can go back over it with green X's. That'll be our grass. Next, I want my tree house to have a flag. So I'm gonna use brown and draw a little line, vertical line, like this.
and I want my flag to stick out. So mine is gonna be red. And I'm basically gonna draw a triangle. That's the shape I want. And then I'm just gonna color it in, paint it in, just like that. Now that our stairs have dried a little bit, I'm gonna paint the nails that keep the stairs on the tree. And those are just gonna be little black dots. I'm gonna do two of them for each stair. Now that we've given our yellow some time to dry, we can go back over it to make the color stick out. If you want, you can add some white to it. Just kind of makes the color stick out more. And go back over it. I'm gonna paint over the white inside the window. I'm gonna give my son another layer of yellow. And now that it's dried, we can go back over that tree branch.
and you can always go back over any areas that you think the color needs to stick out more. Just give it a chance to dry and then go back over it. And that is going to complete our tree house. So thank you so much for joining me. I know your painting looks amazing. We only had a short amount of time, so feel free to continue and add whatever you like. And thank you for having me. Hello, my name is Taylor Sanders and I'm a local Kansas City artist. I've been painting for about four years and I taught myself how to paint. I really feel like the easiest way to improve is just to paint more. The more you paint, the easier it will become and you'll start to develop your own unique style. I started painting when I was looking for a creative outlet and it's just became a passion of mine. Today we just have a short time, but we're gonna create a fun, quick, colorful painting of a man fishing on the lake. This painting is geared towards students grades six to eight. The materials that you will need are acrylic paint, paint brushes, a palette for your paint, a jar or cup to put your water in, and a rag or paper towels to clean your brushes off. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to use is a one inch brush or a brush about this size and we're going to start with the sky and part of the water. And to do that I'm going to use blue, some purple, and a little bit of white to create my sky color. You can use water to kind of make the paint spread even further. And we're gonna paint to about this far. You can paint, use uh, brush strokes that go different directions and that just kind of fills in the white parts on the canvas. And I'm going to use this same color around the middle area of my canvas. And this will be the water.
need some more paint. Purple, blue, and a little white. Then I'm going to start to add some pink to this. And that'll be towards the bottom here. And it'll kind of mix with the purplish blue color that we already have. Just trying to give this kind of some sunset type colors. You can use water to kind of help blend these together. I'm going to go to the top and add some pink. together. Add some more paint. I'm going to go back over my sun so it shows up more then we're going to draw the boat to draw that, we're going to use braille. We're going to come right about here, draw a line like this, and then draw a line straight across like this, and then it's going to kind of curve up like this. And connect. We're going to take black and fill in this area. Come down. Then take black kind of do some lines like this to give it a almost like a wood type feel then we need to draw our man in the boat 
I'm going to use yellow for his shark. And to make the shark, you're just going to kind of do a shape like this. And then you want to do his jeans in a light blue color. Then in the yellow, we're going to draw his arms like this. And then he's going to have a big light brown hat. And to do that, we're going to draw a circle like this. this on top. And we'll come back in a little bit to make those colors stick out more. Then we need to draw his fishing pole. And that is going to look like this. Kind of a curved line. comes down like this. And the string kind of comes like this. Give him some hands. I color in his, the inside of the boat with kind of a dark color. Now we're gonna go in and add the super uh, bright reflection in the water. I'm gonna use yellow and white, but mostly white. And it's gonna be right below the sun. So about down here. back and make this brighter. I'm just adding some color to make it stick out more. And we're going to 
doesn't stop right about there. So you can definitely go in and add further detail to your painting, but we just have a short time. So I just wanted to show you this. It doesn't have a lot of detail, but now you can use your imagination and continue to add as much as you want to the painting. And thank you so much for joining me and I truly hope you enjoyed yourself.